In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove, test, and replace the door switch in your Whirlpool refrigerator. If a door switch fails, it may cause the lights to not turn on, the ice maker or water dispenser to turn off, or it may cause the refrigerator not to cool. If you need to buy a new door switch, check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. For this repair, unplug or disconnect the power supply to the refrigerator. There are two switches in the fridge, one on the left and one on the right. The removal process will be the same, but the locking tabs will be on opposite sides. The locking tabs are on the thin side of the switch. On the left side switch, the locking tab is on the top, and on the right side switch, the locking tab is on the bottom. If you are concerned about scratching the fridge lining, you can apply a small piece of tape near the locking tab. To remove, insert a thin tool between the switch and compartment liner to depress the locking tab and rotate the switch out. This may be very difficult. Now, disconnect the electrical connector. The door switch has three wire terminals. They are labeled common, normally open, and normally closed. To test the switch, turn your multimeter to the continuity setting. With the switch not depressed, touch one probe to the common terminal and the other probe between the normally open and normally closed terminals. If working properly, you should only receive a beep for continuity when touching the normally closed terminal. With the switch depressed, touch one probe to the common terminal and the other between the normally open and normally closed terminals. If working properly, you should only receive a beep for continuity when touching the normally open terminal. When shopping for a new door switch, be sure you're searching with the model number from the tag on your appliance to make sure you get the correct part. To install the switch, first reconnect the electrical connector by aligning and pushing until it seats back in place. Then, tuck the wires into the opening, position the switch so it closes properly when the door is shut, and press the switch in until it snaps back in place. You may find this slightly difficult. That's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you enjoy fixing things and want to see more videos like this and these, please consider subscribing.